Candace Daly here from CLD Art Studio and Blog, coming to you today to make some spooky glam Halloween decor. Um, and if you're not into glam decorations for Halloween, you could probably turn this into a rustic type Halloween decor um, to fit your decorations that you already have in your home. Um, I first got inspired from this product and it's just something very 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 simple um it says it's confetti um i got it from walmart 98 cents and i got inspired by this i'm going to actually try and do um a new diy project coming up and it was inspired by seeing these and so you'll see those at a later date this other diy project um that inspired me to buy these but anyway, I saw these and I kept thinking, I need another kind of spooky type banner to go on a vintage door that's in my house. Um, I already have an old vintage type Happy Halloween banner that I'm going to put on my mantle. So I thought, I need something to kind of jazz up this door for Halloween. So I thought, wow, I can use these little, I guess you could use it as like table scatter or something like that if you're having a party. Um, but I thought I'm going to use these in, um, or to make a banner. So what is really neat about these is they're two sided. So you've got kind of like the sparkly side, you've got a skull shape, but then on the back side you have just kind of like a plain black and then, um, like a silver metallic without the glitter. So you've got the skull shape, you have the spider shape, and then you also have a bat and they all have that same kind of other just plain side as well so I thought I just love the way that these look especially because they have sparkle on them I love 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 anything that's sparkly so I thought I'm gonna make a banner out of these so what I just did and you can use any type of like twine or string that you have this is from Target dollar bin and I love that they put them on wooden spools like how cute is that so I actually combined these two um, to do my banner. So you can see that I've kind of mixed the two. And so you'll need your Halloween cutout confetti from Walmart, 98 cents. Um, you get eight of each shape, some type of twine or string of your choice. You're gonna need a hot glue gun. And I used, um, some painter's tape to kind of help me tape off as to where I was going to tie this to a certain area. So that's completely up to you. That's why I use painter's tape and it doesn't end up uh, messing your string or twine up when you're trying to mark off a spot. Um, I also, here is um, just an idea of what it's going to look like. And sorry if you hear Molly barking in the background. Um, this is how it's going to look on your string. You will also need some type of like assorted ribbon if you want to jazz it up as well. Um, I get this ribbon from the Dollar Tree. This is Halloween, it's purple. I also have some black from the Dollar Tree as well. I have orange from Dollar Tree. And then I also have silver from Dollar Tree as well, but it is a part of their Christmas decorations. So I just decided to use some of that ribbon to jazz it up, sparkle it up a little bit. So, I went ahead and I started one for you all, so that way you all can kind of see how this is going to look. And what I plan to do is I'm not just going to hang this garland by itself, but I'm actually going to nestle this in um, this kind of spooky, tinsel-y garland that I got from Dollar Tree as well. And I'll just nestle those in there. Uh-oh. Got something hanging on me. Um, a spider hanging on me, one of the little cutouts. I'm going to nestle them in this, and I'll wire them in there. Okay? And you can do that as well. You don't have to. My bat's upside down. Okay? And I'm going to end up nestling these in there. Okay? And that'll kind of give you an idea as to what I'm envisioning. And I'll nestle them in there by using pipe cleaners. I love, love pipe cleaners pipe cleaners. So that might be something else that if you decide to do the tinsel garland, you will need some type of pipe cleaner to nestle that in there and wire it. 
So simply what you're gonna do is at the end of the string, and you can decide if you wanna do all skulls or if you wanna do um, the bat and the spider and the skull like I did. I wanted to do all three. But, so just kind of figure out your placement of each, okay? Decide if you want them super close together or not, okay? Um, and so what you'll do is you're just going to simply take your shape, okay, whatever shape that you decide to do. And it looks like with my pattern right now that I have done, I'm going to end up needing a spider next. Okay, so I've got a spider, bat, bat, skull, or a spider, bat, skull, bat, and then a spider. So what I'm going to do is just simply, you're going to put your hot glue on the back. So you'll need your hot glue gun. And I love hot glue because it's just, it doesn't take as long for it to dry. So I'm just putting the glue on the back, my hot glue. Alright, and then I'm just placing that on my string. And I'm keeping my spacing in mind between each shape as I do it, okay? Because I want it to be even. See that? How I spaced him? Okay, so he is on the string. So where I did my dab of glue, I'm putting that glue in the string. So next, what I decided to do to give it a 3D effect, I actually layered these. So where I did the glitter part on the front... I decided to double up on these. And as you can see, I've already did some of these. So there's the sparkle, and then there's the sparkle on the back as well. I doubled up to just give it a 3D effect. So what I'm gonna do is after I've glued this on, and I decided not to use the sparkle side for it to show on the front. I decided to let that just kind of plain side show, if that makes sense, okay? So here's the back of it get my glue gun and I really kind of put a lot of glue on it this time so that way it'll stick so then here's my sparkle side and it's actually going to be facing the back side and the reason I do that is it just kind of gives it some like dimension on the front part of your side to kind of just see some of that other just plain side sticking out so it just gives it like that 3d effect and that's what I really like. Okay. You'll see as I kind of doubled up on that. and makes it look just like 3D. And you can kind of move it and position it before your glue dries. So you will just keep doing that all the way till you figure out how long you want this garland or banner, okay? And then just keep your spacing and your pattern in mind. So then, after you finish adding your spooky shapes, you can add some pretty ribbon, okay? And this is where um, the Dollar Tree ribbon comes into play. You can see it. I did black, orange, purple, and then a silver. I'm still doing like a color pattern there as well. So, for your ribbon, I just cut it about seven inches long. And then what I simply did, grab my scissors, is I just cut it into smaller strips because I wanted my strips a little smaller. So I'm literally just cutting my ribbon in half into smaller, longer strips. Where you see that? Okay, so there you go. And then instead of having a really wide, thick ribbon, I've got two smaller ones that are easier for me to tie and work with. So then that way when you start tying them, it's not hard to tie. So my next color that I'm going to end up needing looks like it's going to be black. So I've already got one that's already pre-cut and ready to go. Now, what I'm going to say is going to kind of sound kind of funny. When you're tying this on your garland, you want your sparkle to show, or at least I do anyway. So I'm actually, when I'm tying it on my string, I'm actually going to place my ribbon with the sparkle facing up to me when I tie it on my ribbon. Okay, so you're just going to tie it. The sparkle is facing you. Tie it in one little knot. I have no idea what Molly is barking at out there. She's on the porch right now. So there's your knot that you've got. 
It might be kind of hard to see because I was wearing black and it was blending in with my black shirt. So there you go. And then you're going to tie it one more time. And this is why you first start out with your sparkle facing you because by the time you tie it in a second knot, now your sparkle is going to be facing you. And that's what you want in your garland. And if some of it doesn't, it's not really that big of a deal. Okay, so now the sparkle's facing me. So always when you're tying your knots, start it with the sparkle facing you. And by the time you tie your second knot, it'll be facing out for everybody to see. So you can just add your ribbon like that to kind of give it a little extra pizzazz. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you. I'm going to nestle this garland in, this banner in the garland. And I've got my painter's tape on there, so just ignore it, <laughs> just to kind of keep it in place. Okay, so here we go. There it is, and I'm going to go ahead and show you. I just take, I cut pipe cleaners into small little pieces, and really they could be cut down even more. But what I do is once I get my banner positioned the way I want it, I will just do the pipe cleaner and get it. I'm going to get this one started real quick and then I'll show you all. And I'm going to grab another pipe cleaner as well. Okay. Let me grab another one, guys. Let me go off the table. technical difficulties okay so I've got it positioned and I just did it with the pipe cleaner but I'm going to show you all again so here I've got it positioned because sometimes when you do this banner like this they're going your shapes are going to want to fall over and we don't want that so here we go so I'm just securing it with a pipe cleaner that I cut and I'm just simply, and I'm using black. You could use silver, you could use the purple or orange. And I get all my pipe cleaners from Dollar Tree, okay? Um, so I'm just taking it and I'm going to secure it at the back. And I'm just going to twist it. Just twist it like that, okay? And then you can kind of tuck those pieces that are on the back side in. So there you go. And the other side isn't secured yet. So, and then you could also even secure it um, on the garland with the ribbon if you wanted to. Um, if you wanted to take that option as well rather than using the pipe cleaners. So this is going to go on my vintage door. It just needed a little something kind of spooky to jazz it up. So really all you need if you want to put it on the garland, you need the garland um, from Dollar Tree. Then you need the shapes from Walmart. Some type of twine or string your hot glue gun, and then some fancy ribbon if you want to jazz it up that way. And then I don't know if I told you pipe cleaners or not um, with the list. So pipe cleaners as well, and you can get those at Dollar Tree as well. I love the sparkly ones. Um, I opted for just the plain black ones um, for this, but you can do the sparkly ones as well. Another thing that you could do with these shapes is you could place these in wreaths as well. You could glue your pipe cleaner to the back of this simply, and then you can insert it in your wreath if you wanted to and leave, um, I'm going to try to kind of show you all, leave it so then that way you could place it. So you could simply just put glue on the back of this and then have that sticking out from it, and then that way you could insert it into your wreath. And this is our spooky ghost that we did the other day, wax paper. So then you could just simply place those in the wreath and then wire it at the back. So then you could mix in the skulls and all that. I hadn't glued this yet. I will go ahead and do it just to show you all. So I'm putting the glue on the back of my skull, just kind of in the center. Pipe cleaner piece. Okay, letting it dry. And I just love that these are just inexpensive. They're 98 cents. You get 24 pieces, eight shapes a piece. Okay. So then once your pipe cleaner is in there, what you can do 
you just insert that in your wreath then you can come so I've inserted it in there you can come on the back side and then just twist it in there okay to secure it on the back like how I showed you how to do the ghost the other day so those are that's another option for you and I didn't secure it or anything um, but that's another option for you with these shapes I love how versatile they are and plus I'm gonna do another DIY with them as well so if you all have any questions about this just let me know um, all you're gonna need is your garland from Dollar Tree your shapes from Walmart some type of string um, some pretty type ribbon and then some pipe cleaners and your glue gun and you're all set um, and if you all have any questions just message me and if you all are interested in signing your children up for art lessons or in if any of you adults would like to have a crafting night or art night you all give me a message I would love to work with you all um, and us celebrate creativity together this is what this is all about sharing ideas and just coming together as a creative community so I hope that you all have a wonderful night and a blessed night thanks for tuning in guys bye